Hello and welcome. This is going to be your January monthly reading, pick a card reading, and we're going to see what you know main energy is going to be present in the month of January or just what's going to happen. I have four tarot cards for each week, but we're going to see if they're going to go weekly or they're going to, you know, add up to one um, big message. And I have some oracle cards to clarify. I have three groups and I have the three acorns because it's the first month of the new year. So hopefully, you know, that means we're starting something new. The first one is this um, pinkish acorn. These are all resin and resin acorns made with, you know, actual caps or tops or whatever it's called. The second one is a gold acorn and the third one is um, iridescent snow acorn, let's call it like that. And I wanted to do this but I forgot. I'm gonna put the numbers as well if I don't, you know, <laughs> just drop them. So you can go by number you can go by acorn or you can go by the pile. Timestamps are gonna be down below, so you don't have to, you know, listen to me rambling. If you already made your decision, just go ahead and click on that one. And I, I just want to say that I don't do um, zodiac-based readings anymore because sometimes I'm the you know no matter how much i vibe with the reading reader if i uh, don't vibe with the reading for my sun sign i should uh, check my other three or two signs but i'm just like lazy and i think most people just you know go for their sun sign and sometimes the message is not there so i think for me it works better if you guys have uh, three options to choose from and if there are zodiac related cards because i'm using the Angelarium deck which have the zodiac cards then that might signify something for someone but okay I'm gonna stop rambling and start with point number one Hello pile number one, if you chose this acorn, isn't it pretty, or just, you know, the number one, or the cards, then this is going to be your monthly reading for January. Let's see your tarot cards first. We have the three of swords in the reverse, nice. We have the king of cups. The Eight of Cups and the Lovers. Okay, definitely a, an emotional month for you. Doesn't have to be romantic, but definitely connected to something that's uh, affecting you on a deeper emotional level. Let's see your Oracle cards. We have Change, which ties really nicely into the Tree of Swords. We have uh, 29. <laughs> I think it's indiscretion in the reverse in the uh, Nicoletta Ciccoli Oracle deck. We have the Affirmation for Acceptance in the Everyday Witch Oracle I'm going to move things around a bit. And let's see. We have... Hmm, boring is going out. Where, do, where should I put this? Oh, over here. And planning is coming in. Which is a very good energy to come in, I think. And we also have... Yes, yeah, so the emanation of life in the Angelarium deck. 
and oh god Solflatus I'm butchering, butchering these names I'm really sorry <laughs> Angel of Dust okay so like I said it's about an emotional journey and it is a journey so the moon starts with uh, the three of swords in the reverse the three of swords upright is talking about um, tragedy heartache loss something that was dear to your heart and losing that and you know going through that pain but uh, transforming uh, because of that you know what happened to you uh, because if it's in the reverse I I'm gonna say that this is not a new wound it is that didn't happen you know it's not gonna happen in the first uh, week or you know the beginning of the year or month but it's something older I can't say how you know older but the, the point is that you're gonna start to move out of this um, painful state and you're finally starting to realize what you can you know learn from what happened and how it's changing you which is which is the healing part you're finally starting to heal realize the necessary changes you need to make and you will step into your emotional mm, how to say you would think that having big nails helps picking up cards so you, because we have the king of cups immediately after I'd say that you're not just you know get out of this painful place but you will realize something important and you will find a way to deal with emotions or how you can handle your own emotions but because we have the indiscretion the 29th uh, underneath it and in the reverse in the shadow side this card is talking about you know like I think the artwork is quite uh, make it quite obvious that you shouldn't you know get up into other people's business so this uh, the second um, week or just you know the progression it doesn't have to be weekly just you know what comes after the healing starting you will realize your emotional worth but you need to pay attention to not you know just start telling uh, other people how they should handle themselves I think because you know when we learn something great value something important we want to share it with others and I think that's understandable and that's a good thing but there is a time and place for that and sometimes even when we want you know we are doing that for the right reasons other people are not there in their journey yet so for them that information is not something that they're gonna receive well so it's pretty much just stay focus on yourself and don't try to fix others that's what I'm getting from this combination because we have the eight of cups also oh, I love this deck eight of cups in, uh, after it I would say this change uh, that you're going through will make you realize that you need to leave something or someone behind that you already invested a lot of emotions in maybe that's the heartbreak is coming from realizing that you're in a non-reciprocated situation it doesn't have to be love like I said it, it just have to be something that you're uh, connecting to emotionally in a deeper level so it can be your dreams it can be your job uh, family anything that you know you have emotions invested in but you will realize that there is no matter how much you love something or someone if they are not no longer fit into your life and it's not because you are better or they worse it's just because your life are taking one direction and their life are taking another one sometimes you know we have to make choices and leave behind people and situation to, in order to grow so you will be you will 
realized uh, what you need to you know leave behind and with the emanation of life and the angel of dust underneath I would say the emanation of life for me is a new beginning with the eight of cups makes sense and the angel of dust is signifying that whatever whoever and whatever you need to leave behind you need to leave behind for good so it's not gonna be like an, uh, an easy decision or an easy situation you're walking away from and it's not something that you can go back to I think especially because the closing card for the month is the lovers which is not just talk about you know love uh, it could be that you're finding something if it's a love it resonating you as a love reading then it means that love in a more whole call correct uh, it's not the right word but you know in a more wholesome <laughs> way it is entering your life but it also the card of choice and i think uh, that connects well with the eight of cups a bit more than uh, the love aspect but you're the one who's watching and who needs to you know find what's resonating so for you it can very well be that you're finding love and the month of january but if it's not about love then it's about a choice an ethical choice when you need to in order to move forward and that you know not um, just fall back into old ways you need to choose something that's doesn't necessarily the easy way it's probably the harder way but the one that you know that it's right for you and since boring is going out which is like you know there's gonna be more fun <laughs> and planning is coming in I think it's it, it it can lead forward with the after making that choice whatever it's it, you know it's regarding to you can uh, start planning ahead for the year because this is january so it's the first one for the new year it's time to make uh, those big goals in uh, you know breaking them down into smaller ones so you can actually uh, do them and we have the affirmation for acceptance and we have the faith you know she's reading the faith book and ex acceptance can talk about you know self-acceptance as well but it's just I think uh, connecting to the reading is just accepting with the eight of cups that there are things that are either meant to be or not meant to be I mean if you're believing in a higher self god or um, something you know bigger than us and i think you have i'm not saying you have to but i'm assuming you do because you're watching a uh, tarot pick card reading there are just things that no matter how much you try and want to have if it's not meant for you in this lifetime you're just not gonna get it and i'm not saying don't go after anything just when you have that initial gut feeling that if you're you know honest with yourself that you know if it's for you or you know those little voices in your head kick in and they say like no no i need like i need to you know push forward i think we all have that because there are things that um, we do we experience where there are a lot of obstacles yet we keep pushing and it could be that uh, you will have that um, realization connecting to something or someone in this month especially the end that it's it was meant to happen it could be very well the connecting to back to why you went through the the loss and the heartache you know that if it was a learning curve that you had to go through or just that you have people who will enter your life and it will feel like they need they were meant to enter your life okay so that's your reading if you chose by number one or the pink acorn which I really like <laughs> and I hope this helps please like the video if it helped because that helps me 
please don't consider subscribing and watching other videos because I have a lot of videos <laughs> already a lot of them and just yeah please enjoy yourself and have a lovely January and see you in the next one bye Hello pie number two, if you chose the gold acorn or just uh, the number two or these cards then this is going to be your monthly reading for January. And let's start with your tarot cards. We have the nine of wands in the reverse. We have, oh, the tower. We have the Queen of Wands, a lot of Wands energy, which is fire signs. In the reverse, and we have the Moon in the reverse as well. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not sure it's gonna be a weekly thing, or it's gonna, you know, I feel like it's more like those readings where the cards add up to one message. But let's see. What you have for your oracle cards? We have meditation for glare, no, for peace and seren serenity. I mean, look at that dog. <laughs> Underneath the nine of wands, which makes sense. We have the happiness going out, and myself is coming in. Well, since we have the tower here, I understand why happiness is not something that's going to be very heavily featured in your January. But yeah, I, I don't think it's a weekly, I think it's just one thing and the myself coming in just confirms it for me. We have uh, 11, which if I remember correctly, but I'm going to check and it was in the reverse is about perspective. We have emanation of beauty from the Angelarium and we have the Gemini. Okay. So it could be that you have Gemini in your uh, chart or someone with uh, a strong Gemini energy is gonna be um, what's the word oh god influential for your month or what I'm thinking more like the double <coughs> aspect of the of Gemini you know a choice finding balance and stuff like that and we have for your last sacred um, destiny oracle card voyage with the moon I th yeah and it's gonna be an inner one I mean okay so yes definitely not weekly and let's check the check all the first before I dive in but I think that was no it's improvisation okay okay so don't worry if you don't have a solid plan for how to proceed and because it's in the shadow side, it's talk about the worst that could happen is that you will learn something. <laughs> and yeah, you will learn something. That's This whole reading is about learning a lot about yourself. Because you're coming from this uh, wounded place where you need to protect yourself. And mm, you need to decide what do you, you know, what do you want uh, 
for yourself but because it's in the reverse it could also mean that you're overthinking something and you're seeing something worse than it actually is you know you're constantly on the defense when you don't actually have to be and um, the meditation card came under it because I think it's important to find a way to be able to distinguish between a real threat you know something that you really actually have to protect yourself against and something that's just in your head and something that you're over dramatizing <laughs> that was a hard word <laughs> and i don't mean it you know in a bad way that you whatever you're experiencing is not um heavy or not hard because for you it is but sometimes you can get an outside perspective if you just go within and you stop what i like to do these days i did a lot of guided meditations uh, at least for constantly for more than a year uh, now i think or at least a year but lately i switched to doing just okay it's personal but maybe it can help you i built an astro palace which was much easier than i thought it would be i thought that i won't be remembering you know details and I will lose the place every time I try to go back but once I came up with the basic idea it was just there and lately what I do is just go there and talk to my higher self and or just you know I have a healing chamber and I just go there and do that and I think something like that can be very beneficial having a conversation about a situation with yourself with the higher self, you know, who's more knowing than you are, or just yourself, when you, because sometimes outside opinion or outside voices are not what you need to hear. And with the meditation here, I'm thinking that that's what you, you need to do, you know, hear you so, so that you can hear your own voice better. Because the tower is here, is definitely talking about something needs to be and will be changed because and it is and suddenly because it's not on solid foundation and I just recently looked at the card because I always paid attention to the upper part but I never paid attention to the bottom because I was like oh it's dark it's there's you know the ground but no there is half of it is missing and it's falling apart because the tree grow too big and the foundation it can't hold the weight of it anymore and then comes you know on top of it the lightning and the strike so it it's gonna fall down and what you can do is two things you can either just you know close your eyes and you know block your ears or whatever and just pretend everything is fine and then when the tower is falling you're falling with it or you re or you can realize that okay big changes are needed in my life i don't know how to change them but when life is changing them for me because that's how usually it happens i'm going to try to go with the change and not resist it it's not going to be easy that's why happiness is definitely going out it's not going to be an easy month for you but coming out from it you're going to be in a much better place and because we have the improvisation in the reverse you know the shadow side under the tower is just signifying that sometimes you can't really plan and y you can try but then life will be like if you're trying to plan something that's not for you life will be make sure to put you on the right path and if when we are deviating from that path a lot then the, then come the tower moment because we need to make that shift whether we want it or not usually we don't want it but after we experience something like that we come out stronger and with a knowledge uh, about ourselves a deeper knowledge about ourselves so it's not easy but it's necessary and we have the queen of wands in the reverse the queen of wands is that fiery energy who 
likes to be you know the center of the attention and someone who's very passionate has a lot of ideas and uh, likes to do them you know someone who who, motiv who motivates others but in the reverse it's, it's it can be a very <coughs> excuse me for the word a bitchy person you know someone who lashes out and just wants everything all the the attention from themselves and can't share and stuff like that and i think it's here to remind yourself not to be like that maybe it's connecting to why you're going to or I mean you don't have to experience the tower moment because if you're watching this reading you can start working on things and uh, not you know reach at this point that's the point and and that's why tarot is good it can give you an advice and you can change the course of your uh, things that's happening and it's interesting that we have I mean the queen of wands is is, is a beautiful person doesn't matter you know is the gender is not important it's just the feminine aspect of us and it's usually you know a very beautiful person and we have the emanation of beauty underneath and it can talk about that maybe uh, to find the beauty in something or someone or in a situation even if at first you don't think you could because the beauty is in the eye of the beholder and that's also and always true and we have we, like i said we have gemini which is interesting that we have an air sign with all the fires but if you look at the um, illustration you can see that it's a half and half so it could be an, uh, talking about an inner conflict as well you know what's causing this nine of one in the reverse uh, feeling but at, uh, at the end of all this after you experience everything like that you will have the uh, you will reach oh, isn't this beautiful it's a moon card mm -hmm. uh, a place a, um, a journey you will start a journey I don't think you will you know go through the whole thing you I think you will because of whatever will happen you will start an inner journey to reach yourself to get to know yourself better and we have the whale carrying a smaller one to signify that you will be protect you 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 are protected uh, doing everything that's happening to you should know that it's divinely guided even if it sounds like crap they are <laughs> doing a lot of stuff to you they are doing it so that you can get to a better place and we have the moon card which talks about secrets and and not being sure you know not seeing clearly in the reverse and i say that you will start to see things for what they are that you couldn't at the beginning slowly and that's how you can move past this whole um, confused and painful state because this feels like a very very emotional and uh, anxiety field uh, reading it's not emotional in a way that uh, you know you you cry a lot or you just you know mm, how to say this correctly whatever <laughs> what I mean is the anxiety and the worry is the main energy of these cards but we have we are re we reach a much peaceful calmer energy at the end of it but yeah, like I said meditate meditation is is a key to finding peace and uh, just gaining a perspective and meditation doesn't have to be you know sitting down and closing your eyes and blah 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 there's uh, if you look for ways of meditating th there's a lot that you can do you can go for a walk if you can of course um, you can do something in the garden even if it's the winter there's always something to do physical work can work um, 
act like a meditation for some people so there are a lot of ways you don't have to do what we traditionally mean about meditations but uh, meditation but you can try that one as out as well because I'm an airhead I don't like to you know just sit with my thoughts and it I find it hard I found it hard now I find it much easier but you, all you can do is you know try <laughs> and the worst thing that can happen is that you learn something and if you think about it that's not the bad not, 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 not a very bad thing to you know experience but yeah that's your month and uh, like I said it's gonna be a, <laughs> a ride <laughs> but try to remind yourself that everything that's happening is for your benefit it's not happening with you it's happening for you and I think it's important to uh, consciously make that distinguish distinction distinction okay so please like this video if you liked it and if you find it useful consider subscribing and even hitting that little bell so you will know when I'm randomly uploading uh, readings because sometimes I do that I post pick a card readings weekly on my Instagram and sometimes just when I feel like I have a shorter pick a card uh, idea in my head I just post it over there and I don't necessarily make a video out of it so you can connect me with there as well and yeah that's all consider yeah liking subscribing commenting because all that helps my channel and have a lovely January even though it's not gonna be easy just remember it's gonna be good at the end see you in the next one bye Hello pie number three, if you chose this, uh, what, I, what I, did I say, iridescent snowflake <laughs> acorn, then this is gonna be your reading. Or if you chose the number three or the cards. So let's start with your tarot cards. We have the eight of swords. We have the king of swords, but in the reverse no wonder we have the ace of cups in the reverse and we have the king of wands two kings interesting hmm what a, sh uh, a shift color wise in the middle <laughs> we have the wintry grayish colors and we have the much more old to me warmer cards on the second pile. Interesting. So let's see what you have. You have delight. We have the A F, the angel of anger. We have also the angel of the written words. <laughs> in short don't write messages when you're you know angry don't go on twitter and vent we have hello in the check holy oracle i like this card and we have change is coming in and loneliness is going out which is awesome and we have the healing waters as the everyday witch oracle okay so I don't know if it's gonna be a weekly <coughs> it's not one collective message like the other one was so I think we have everything in this reading <laughs> because it feels like one side is what uh, you're working on moving on from and decide where you're gonna arrive or at least shift to 
So we have the Eight of Swords. I mean, if I can pick it up. And besides being a beautiful card, it talks about uh, those situations where we bind ourselves with our thoughts, you know. Um, if we look at the situation objectively from the outside, we are not trapped. But we are not able to do that because for some reason all we see is the fear that's keeping, our, uh, keeping us at place. And it could connect to um, a love, you know, a romantic relationship or just a relationship because loneliness is going out. And we have the Ace of Cups, but I'm not sure yet. But anyway, so you're starting with a place of worry, anxiety, something that you, you don't think you can solve. It's a situation that you think that you cannot solve. And that is not true because if you look at the raven it's not binded by you know chains or um, rope or anything it's just flowers and the swords are just uh, you know next to it so it can easily uh, get itself free but you have to figure out or have to gain an understanding that it's up to you to solve this problem And we have the healing waters because hmm, I'm not entirely sure how it's connecting to because it works if you're doing you know practical magic then you should do a uh, water-based um, spell because uh, water-based spells are for healing and you know <coughs> cleansing yourself from from these emotions but if you don't then Hmm, I think it can talk about emotions, that letting your emotions uh, flow. Don't try to hold back your emotions regarding this situation because the solution is actually experiencing those emotions. That's how you will find out how to get out of this uh, situation because the swords are connected to thoughts so it's you know it's in the head but you need to be more like in your body in your emotions in your heart and uh, the king of swords is following the eight of swords and i think it's because you could be the king of swords you could be this uh, you know energy that is able to um, make big long-term plans seeing through a situation for what it is and making the necessary adjustments but fear is keeping you in the reversed uh, place but once you work through this you will gain a perspective and you will you know just you will have a lot uh, more stable uh, state of mind And we have the hello underneath, bec and it this is about not judging other people just by you know their appearance or not judging the situation, how it looks, you know. But actually being brave enough to go there and just try to get to know that other person or the or what's actually going on, and I think that ties very well with the eight of swords as well because you only fear what you don't know, uh, don't understand but if you're, you know, stop and just uh, look at uh, something that like this is a horrible, big, unsolvable thing or person, it could be a person as well and you know, you give a chance and that chance has to come from your heart space then you will, uh, you might, you know, be pleasantly surprised because you might just find a new friend or meet someone because we have the ace of cups in the reverse in the second half it's also this is um, 
when it's in the upright it's usually um, a new love a romantic opportunity something you know regarding like that but I think it's only in the reverse because if you stay in this place you will miss out on an opportunity to connect with someone you know if you don't say hello to someone something that is or someone who's not necessarily your type you know someone who doesn't necessarily look like they could add to your life if you s you know just stay in this closed off state then you can miss out on an on opportunity to even love you know a new love and yeah <laughs> i mean <laughs> these two still anger and the written world please don't go on social media and <laughs> just write messages out of anger because <laughs> or you know uh, or emails or something like that because that's just gonna you know screw things up and we have the king of wands as the closing energy and this king is fiery and passionate and if you watch billions and you know you know Bobby Axelro then I then you know what I'm thinking about because it's it's someone who takes a small idea that other people might doesn't even recognize as a good idea and turn it into something good they are confident they don't know the word no and they know that they are capable of doing anything they want to and even if there are setbacks they just work through them because they are confident and they know what they want and I think that's the person that it's not about you it's the person that could come into your life if you let it because you are the king of swords which is a very much you know in the head collected uh, Mm, more calm energy and the wand is a very much fiery energy and they can you know <laughs> add delight <laughs> to your life <laughs> they can bring joy to you they can change things for the better in a, uh, to a more exciting more warmer place than what you're experiencing currently and that's why change is coming in but you have to let that change come in with this opportunity so the most important thing is go into your emotions a bit more find that whatever is keeping you awake at night whatever is causing you great anxiety is how you can actually solve it because this card is here to signify that whatever whatever you're experiencing there is a solution and that solution can come from you And once you work through that, then you're gonna f even find you, you can find love, or if it's not a romantic relationship, it's definitely someone who would, you know, pull you with them, who would push you forward. And in the end, uh, you know, change you and change your life for the better or for the worse we have no idea from these cards <laughs> but you don't know until you try but I would say for the for the better because we have the hello here and we have delight as well so yeah that was your reading if you chose the third pile hope this was uh, useful please like the video if you thought so comment down below if you resonated with it or if you you know see something in the cards that uh, made some uh, extra sense to you uh, even consider hitting that little bell so you don't miss my not regular but ad hoc videos but I'm sometimes uploading because sometimes I do that <laughs> but anyway uh, thank you so much for watching this video and hope to see you in the next one have a lovely January and just see you later bye